Customs and Border Patrol agents are pushing back against criticism after a government watchdog report showed how detention facilities along the southern border are in turmoil. President Trump tweeted yesterday, quote, if illegal immigrants are unhappy with the conditions, just tell them not to come. Sounds like a policy of deterrence there. Maria Villarreal spoke exclusively with one border agent. She's in the Rio Grande Valley in South Texas. Maria, what did this agent say? This veteran agent told us that CBP has been warning Congress about the humanitarian crisis and the conditions inside these facilities for months. And this new OIG report should be no surprise to anyone. We have blurred his face and also altered his voice to conceal his identity. There has to be a solution. This Border Patrol agent told us he feels compassion for the migrants in his custody. But he, his co-workers, and even his family are being treated and portrayed yes. unfairly. My daughter has been uh, bullied at school numerous times. And even my, my wife has been uh, targeted at her work. Both of them will be asked questions as to you know, is your husband really killing kids? On Tuesday, the Office of Inspector General released an explosive report detailing severe overcrowding and issues at CBP facilities. Investigators described children with no access to showers or hot meals and adults being held in standing room only conditions for a week. We're not built with showers. We're not built with kitchenettes to where we can have a warm meal for these individuals. It's far worse than anything I have ever seen anywhere. Lisa Bradiaga has been an immigration attorney for more than 40 years. She recently filed a lawsuit in Texas against the government demanding relief for her migrant clients who are being held in CBP custody. They don't have decent food. They don't have drinkable water. Um, now they're being told to drink out of toilets. Before we were told that they were the water that they were given was so heavily chlorinated that it made people sick to drink. Um, that's torture. We asked the agent to describe what it's like inside the facility where he works. You hear kids crying, and simultaneously you get hit with the smell. Of what? Of people that have been there far too long, people that do need a shower. But how do I give it to them? Where do I take them? With what budget? I don't have that possibility. I just don't. Earlier this week, the president signed a $4.6 billion humanitarian aid package that would hopefully help with the facility conditions. But the agents that we're talking to here on the ground in South Texas tell us it feels like this is a little too little too late and this should have been addressed months ago. The agent that I spoke with in the shadows also says that the old immigration laws need to be the target here, not the Border Patrol agents in the field. Maria, thank you. It's interesting. Uh, it's, it's really bipartisan agreement that this is, among other things, a humanitarian crisis, mm -hmm. and that's where that money's supposed to go. Maria, thank you very much. Hopefully people will believe an, an agent who's actually working inside the facility, they will believe what he has to say, because they've called into question what the people who are living there and what some of the congressional people have said. But this is somebody who works there day to day. Hopefully his story somebody will believe that he's President Trump's the truth. tweet it seems to acknowledge the conditions aren't good. Very, very complicated.